everyone, hey, congratulations for Matriarch here for the Halloween here. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I do have to admit this, this was a slow burn movie, but I don't know, like at the, at the end, it just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, think I, was not, I was not expecting. That. So Ben, let's start it off with you is, um, where did the original idea came from for a film like this? Um, yeah, so the, like, what are the, so uh, uh, Matriarch kind of originated in uh, a short film called Earn that I did for the first uh, Huluween, um, I think in uh, 2018. Um, and uh, Hulu asked me if I would, might be able to see if I could adapt it or expand it kind of into a feature. So obviously I said, yes, of course I can, with no idea of what that would be. Um, and then just uh, kind of started working on it and it kind of went through kind of quite a few iterations that were very, that were very dissimilar to Matriarch, um, but then kind of yeah, eventually ended up being the kind of the film that you've, um, you've seen. But really the, uh, the, the only thing that was kind of set in stone from that short urn to uh, to the feature was this kind of um, the toxic relationship between the mother and the daughter that's kind of at the at the heart of it. Most excellent. Well, let, let me uh, shoot it off to Gemma and uh, Kate. Uh, what initially drew you to you know this this I want to say off offbeat horror project that uh, that that people will um, not expect, Gemma? Would you? Uh, um, I. For me, um, I, I, I've been saying to these guys, um, I, I'm a really, I don't know a lot about the horror genres, like all the sub sub genres, um, but I grew up watching The Omen and Rosemary's Baby and The Wicker Man. And um, and these are all kind of quite slow burn um, horror films and they are very character centric and uh, they take their time to build and build with the story. And when I started reading the script, um, I was sort of really drawn in and really intrigued by this mother-daughter relationship. And um, and it was such, you know, Laura is such a, an interesting character and a meaty character, and that was a big draw. And then it just went off in a way <laughs> that I could never have imagined or expected. And um, there were bits that, you know, made me laugh out loud. There were bits that were disgusting. There were bits that were terrifying. Um, and it was just so unexpected. And to, you know, to be surprised these days, I think, takes quite a lot when you've watched things, yeah. read things. And, um, and that was an immediate, you know, I was hooked. What about for you, Kate? Yeah, I mean, for me, it was like, I was so interested in the dynamic between Laura and Celia. And I was so interested in playing a character who was so extreme, whose behaviour, there was no apologies for her behaviour. There's, She's just a very extreme, selfish person. And uh, that really intrigued me to sort of push those boundaries of, of walking that fine line to make it, you know, so it didn't become just sort of all silly, um, but a really nice mix of horror and silly and fun and... I just loved it. I loved the script. Um, so yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Well, let, let me shoot uh, this off to both uh, Jemima and, uh, and and Kate. Is uh, how did you develop the chemistry, or is it the anti chemistry for um, mother daughter? And do you feel bad at the end of the day how you treated each other? <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, I mean the, I the whole I thing. <laughs> yeah, you definitely did, and I should have felt quite bad. But I think I was filled with so much glee at playing such a wild character. But the whole premise: if you're playing characters who don't get on, the most important thing is that, that you have a beautiful, like loving, safe relationship so that you have the safety to do mean things to each yeah. other, to push and those can, boundaries. And you can then be more mean if you want to yeah. try. Yeah. And try because you know you, you've got trust there and you know that and that there's love there and care. Yeah. Um, and, you, and you check in with each other, okay, I'm going to do this, are you okay with that? If I put, you know, and there's a... 
a, as you say, a trust and a, a rapport there, isn't there? Both excellent. And Ben, I'm going to shoot off the last question to you. Um, I'm not, I don't want to reveal anything, but, uh, but the, at the end, that was, that, that is something of nightmares. What, where did that actually came from and how do you watch well, that? Um, which, um, can you, can you give me like a little clue as to which, 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 I'm, 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 I'm talking about, you know, the rot and rebirth, uh, you know. Oh yeah. Oh, right. Um, uh, oh, so you mean like that, that kind of end section? Yeah. So that, um, uh, that, uh, if you mean kind of that character, um, yeah, yeah. So that was um, uh, kind of came out of, of, a, of a sort of a monster, a creature that I that I um, drew years ago, and then kind of revisited various times, uh, various times over the years. So I used to do a lot of drawing kind of before I sort of started looking into uh, um, kind of exploring filmmaking. Um, who was called the Worm Eater and was kind of a sort of uh, evil kind of green man, kind of um, sort of anti father. So I was obviously male. Um, and he was just kind of hovering around in the back of my mind. And then as I was kind of developing Urn into what would ultimately be Matriarch, I don't know, he just kept on trying to, trying to like get involved, but to, to, to kind of be in the arena, he had to um, be a woman. So he kind of morphed into, into the thing that you're uh, talking about. <laughs> Most excellent. I, I can't get that image out of my head for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, thank you very much for carrying this thank conversation. You. Thank, thank you. Really thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.